Hey guys, Marley and I are up in the mountains for the next couple days where we're filming for several different projects. In this video, we're going to be talking about moderators. This is a topic that's been discussed before. I've brought with me several rifles that I'm going to use as examples, as well as a few different moderators that I brought with me. We'll check them out, we'll install them on the guns, and hopefully that information will help you guys find something that works for you and something you're going to be happy with that's going to make your gun a lot quieter. I brought with me the Brocock Sniper XR. This is in 25 caliber. I've got it tuned right around 58 foot-pounds. And then I've got the LCS Air Arms SK-19 in 25 caliber and that's putting out just over 70 foot-pounds and by nature it's a fairly loud gun in general just due to the hammerless system and so these are entirely different rifles different platforms and they definitely you know can benefit from two different styles of moderators generally rifles that have longer barrels are for the most part quieter, especially with a moderator. You can have the same power level, you know, in two different guns with two different barrel lengths, and chances are that gun that has the shorter barrel is going to be louder, even with the same moderator. And so there's a lot of factors to consider. I mean, if you're going to be using a gun from primarily the bench, maybe the length doesn't really bother you. If you're going to be out hiking around like I do, you kind of really want to think about what's going to keep the gun short. The LCS is fairly short. It's a compact gun. It puts out more power. And so I'm going to need a moderator that might have more volume and is really made for something, you know, a little bigger. Now, if you're shooting a gun that puts out around 30 foot pounds, there's a lot of moderators that are going to quiet that gun down and you don't have to go with you know a really large one really what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of that crack and we're trying to get rid of that sound and that frequency that is giving us feedback from our environment a canyon wall like we'd find in our backyard a fence so when we're out in the field or we're out in our backyard we want to get rid of that crack and so I brought a decibel meter with me. I'm gonna shoot both these guns without moderators just so we can get kind of a general idea of how loud they are without a moderator. And then we'll add a few different ones on and kind of see what the changes are. And so I thought it would be interesting to do that. And it'll definitely you know, help you guys when you're looking to purchase a moderator. I brought with me four different moderators. The first one is the Donnie FL Tatsu. And this is just about five inches. It comes in at 4.1 ounces. Next to that is the Donnie FL Ronin. And this is just under seven inches. It comes in at 9.7 ounces. Next to that is the Zero Decibel. And this is the 110C. This is their smallest version and the weight of that is 3.8 ounces and it's right around five inches. Next to that is the zero decibel and this is the 160S and this comes in at 5.2 ounces and it's about seven inches. And so all four of these moderators are ones that I use on a regular basis on a variety of my rifles. I definitely recommend these products. They've worked well for me they're precision made and they definitely you know have something that will quiet down your gun and these are available in 177 through 30 caliber and so these will fit you know a lot of different guns there is you know differences in the four of them you know as far as weight and length I'm gonna throw a few of these on the LCS and we'll take them over with the decibel meter and kind of check the sound levels. Remember, you know, a lot of these are made for a lot of different rifles. And so I always like to 
step up the caliber. You know, if I'm, I've got a 22, I'm going to use a 25 caliber moderator. And so that is going to minimize any kind of problems you'd have with clipping. It's going to definitely save your accuracy. So I've got the LCS here at right around 70 foot pounds. I took the moderator off. I got the decibel meter out here. And just talking, uh, the meter is going up to around 73 decibels. Just to give you guys kind of an idea. The ambient noise here is right around 30. So this is probably gonna be pretty dang loud. It's my loudest gun besides you know going with like a big bore or something like that and so I'm gonna put the camera up here you guys can check it out and then we're gonna move this decibel meter out and kind of see what the the numbers are because I'm curious so that was 119.8 decibels I had the muzzle about three feet away so I'm going to take this sound meter down here about 30, 40 yards and we'll check and see what the sound is at that range. And then I'll put a moderator on and we'll see how much it quiets it. So this one was 92.8 decibels. I'm going to go ahead and put the Ronin on here and we'll test it again and see what the, the sound level is. It's 92.6 decibels. Now we're going to go back and we'll put the 0 dB on and we'll see what the difference is in that one. It's 97 decibels. So we tested the Donny FL Ronin as well as the zero decibel. And you guys can see there was a fluctuation between the two. And I want to make clear, this is not a scientific instrument. It's in that factor, kind of a step up from worthless. A real sound meter costs over $2,500. And it's made to measure frequencies under different environments. And obviously I don't have access to something like that as you know, a lot of reviewers don't. I picked this up on Amazon for just under a hundred bucks. You know, it's fun to experiment with, but it's not scientific at all. Um, there's just too many variables. You know, if we're out in a flat open desert with no hills, no mountains, you know, no shrubbery, you're gonna get an entirely different number. The fact that we're down in a canyon, we've got trees, bushes, and hills that are gonna give a lot of feedback to that frequency. Depending on how far away you have the meter from the muzzle, you know, there's, there's so many variables. We could take two of the same rifles, you know, put the same moderators on them, and you know if they're tuned differently you're going to get an entirely different number so i just want you guys to know you know keep that in mind you know when you watch reviews um you know using one of these devices 
it's it's just kind of a general look at it. I mean, it's not scientific at all. So, you know, the numbers might fluctuate, and they might fluctuate a lot depending on your environment and the way that you have your gun tuned. So now we'll test the Brocock Sniper XR. This is in 25 caliber. It's putting out around 58 foot pounds. And so we'll test this without a moderator just to get kind of a baseline for the sound level. Ninety two point seven at thirty yards. Now we'll put on the Donnie FL Tatsu. Thirty yards, ninety two point four. Now we'll put on the zero decibel. Ninety two point two. Now that we've taken a look at all these moderators, I kind of wanted to talk a little more about the weight. Now this might not be a factor, you know, for a lot of you guys from the bench, um, but it could. And the reason I say that is if you've got a rifle that may have barrel flex issues, in other words, it flexes, it might be floppy, and really just doesn't have a tension tight barrel system you may want to go with something that's a little more lightweight and that might minimize that issue. A lot of guns, you know, come with a factory moderator that might work really well for that gun. But once we start moving up power levels, we start tuning, you know, maybe we're shooting, you know, at higher power to shoot slugs. We may want to go with something, you know, aftermarket that might have a little more volume. And that's kind of the case with the LCS. The factory moderator worked really well. And I noticed that there was a slight difference in the uh, sound level once I installed the Ronin. And generally, if I'm gonna go with a larger diameter moderator, I always like to use them on the shorter, you know, compact style rifles. I personally just don't like how they look on the longer barrel guns, which is one of the reasons that I have the zero decibel, the smaller version on the Brocock. Because it's a, a longer gun, when I'm hiking, when I'm stepping over something, you know, I want to keep the gun as short as I can, you know, so it doesn't get hung up in brush or anything like that. It, it, plus the weight, it's lower weight and for offhand shooting, it's a little bit better, you know, having something that's lighter weight. I do plan to do another video regarding moderators, and I kind of want to do it on more of a scientific level. Like I had mentioned, that sound meter that I have really isn't scientific at all, and it's just really kind of just a baseline for what you can expect out of, you know, various different moderators. It's going to really vary you know, depending on the gun, the power level, and, you know, the barrel length, all that. And I hope you guys can understand that. I definitely recommend these products. I've used them out in the field. They've always treated me really well. Airguns of Arizona does carry these. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out to them. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you, and they can answer you know, any of the questions you guys may have. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll talk to you soon.